go to command line, add some numbers, hit enter, and the numbers go on the stack. Adds two numbers together. Du duplicates items on the stack. Drop drops items. Push as text, pushes its string of text onto the stack. Swap swaps the top two items, tuck, tucks a copy of the top item under the second one. Over tucks a copy of the second one over the first item. Put the number 23 on the stack. Duplicate it. Multiply it. That's the square of the number 23. Do it again. That's the square of the square of the number 23. Put the string name on the stack. Look it up to get the function. String name on the stack. Or you can interpret a string that goes on the stack. Interpret the name of the function to make it run. You look up. New sequence word. We're creating a sequence. Note that the order is reversed. Dupe is first now, and mall is second. I'm going to give it a name. Square. So there's a square, string, and the sequence. Duplicate, then multiply. Inscribe it into the dictionary, and there's our new command, square. We can immediately use it from the command line, 23 square is 529. Put the number on the stack, the button works. Just keep squaring the number, drop, drop. New sequence word creates a new sequence word. We put the name on the stack, look it up. We're putting this word drop on the stack. So now we have new sequence word drop. New sequence word takes everything on the stack and puts it into a unit. So after that, you see what happened there? You can drop all things. We inscribed a new command drop all. Which puts everything into one thing and then drops that one thing. Put a bunch of numbers on the stack, or string, what have you. I'll double click there, okay. So you got all the stuff on the stack, goodbye. Put in a new sequence word and then drop that sequence word off of the stack.